Now, final year exams start in New South Wales tomorrow. It is a very stressful time for students as well as their parents. Queensland and Victorian students will sit their exams in late October. And for more, we're joined by former principal Steve Francis. How are you, Steve? I'm oh, great. Thanks, Tim. On Sunday? Yeah, well, Sunday. It's a beautiful day right around the country. Gorgeous. Now, Steve, the big message is that exams aren't the be-all and end-all. How important is it to keep things in perspective? Oh, absolutely essential, especially for parents in their role supporting uh, the, the students having the exams. Uh, it's a bit like preparing for a grand final. We're the support team for our students. Uh, we've got to make sure we don't catastrophise the whole thing and make it bigger than Ben-Hur. Uh, sure, it's important. It's, it's a vital stage in their education, but it's not the be-all and end-all, and there certainly is life after the exams, and we don't, we don't want to uh, contribute to them having some sort of meltdown by putting too much pressure and stress on them, but better to be a support team instead. Because it can be really difficult, not just for the students, but for the parents, because you project so much and you want them to do so well, but it can really make things even worse for the students who Absolutely, are doing the studying, can't yeah. I, I think um, all the adults I know reflect on, I could have done better when I was at school, and and then we transfer that across to our own children. And that, that's not fair. It's them that's doing the exam. Our job is to take on that support role. So there's some practical things that we can do in that regard. And that's uh, in encouraging our sons or daughters to uh, work in short chunks, so maybe uh, 50 minutes of study, and then take a break, get some fresh air, some sort of reward for 50 minutes of uh, concentration. And whether that's uh, going for a jog, walking the dog, something like that. Uh, but also we've got to make sure, just like in preparing for a sports grand final, that we're well hydrated that they're drinking lots of water but not so much coffee caffeine, or the energy drinks, not caffeine right? or energy drinks because they had the downside as the follow-up to that one uh, apples great we've got to make sure that the nutrition's good eating small meals rather than some big massive lunch and then uh, wanting to have a sleep in the afternoon uh, but we're, we're the coach we're the support for our young people and that's particularly our role in this situation all right now what about for school leavers uh, what about them many have a year off um, many go to university many t go straight into jobs where are the jobs yeah, the jobs are difficult, aren't they? There's sort of um, trends in terms of technology. And we heard about a great app this morning, a fantastic app with that you know, invoicing. And, and that's exciting. And there are exciting jobs out there in terms of uh, drones and using social media and marketing, etc. But we're going through a bit of a cycle where construction is coming back in, which is a good sign. But there are certainly jobs in uh, the medical industry and also jobs in care as well as in services. And so looking out for those opportunities is important as we go through sort of life cycle changes there as well and that's creating opportunities for our young people. I, I think that, sorry Deb, I was just going to say that, that first message about not making it the be all and end all. That's exactly what I was going to say. I, mean, yeah. I, I scrambled my way through school, matriculated and scrambled my way through uni, but it was really the education I got in country radio that laid the platform for my career. Mm. I, I, it really needs to be pressed home all the time. Keep it in perspective. It's a long yep. walk. It's Absolutely. a Melbourne Cup, not a Golden Slipper. Absolutely. Mm. And it's also um, where you start doing your study isn't necessarily where you end up either. So, so making some decision at this stage, although it's difficult for many young people, ultimately in the long run yep. might not be where they end up. And there's lots of different paths and different ways for them to achieve their outcomes as well. So uh, HSC for New South Wales students isn't the be all and end all. It's important, but let's make sure we keep it in perspective. Really important advice. There's so many paths to get to where you want to go. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming My in. My pleasure. Great advice mm. for the parents too. I it like is. it. Good on you, Steve.